Hey up, it's Noir Nerd, and this is going to be the first and probably a multi series uh, tutorial on how to, in the most basic sense, create some sort of FPS with Play Canvas. Now, this is requested by a user who, the great ninja, who's been watching a lot of my videos, and he's very enthusiastic about creating a, a FPS within uh, Play Canvas, which is this WebGL engine. So I thought I'd have at least an attempt, make at least an attempt at covering uh, the basics of how to do that within Play Canvas. So, first off, let's start a new project. We want a blank project, I'm gonna call it FPS project. Something like that, it's gonna be private, I think, but I'll make it, I'll make it uh, public afterwards probably, but for now I'll just keep it private. Blank project, okay. So I think in this part of the tutorial, we're gonna look at, we've got the terrain generation tutorial here. So we're gonna do that to create some terrain. Uh, just go through how to do that basically. And then we'll also go over like creating a first person character so you can move about, how to do that. And also I'll just cover a bit on the editor itself. Not too much, cause it's sort of, shouldn't really have to but okay let's go into our editor we want to create and we're going to just start creating our initial scene and then also creating a character a player character so let's go to it's untitled at the minute i don't want it to be untitled though i wanted to call it something else call it level one or something for now level one so this settings is just where all the settings for our Scene globally, basically. Uh, okay. So, I guess the first thing we're going to want to do is have create a player character. So we go here, new entity, call it player. Uh, we're going to basically we're going to reuse the script from here. Just going to copy the whole thing. So this is uh, WSAD movement. Basically, this script gives you that. Uh, so I've created an entity of type player. Now I'm going to add a script, and I'm going to call it just the same as this, which is uh, first person movement, I think, just like that. Movement. And I would nearly always do something wrong here, but hopefully I'll do it this time. Edit. Da, 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 da. Let's copy this. There's, uh, like I've said before in other tutorials, at this point we don't need to add anything more. We just need WSAD movement. So I don't really think there's any point reinventing the entire wheel. So let's just save that. Always remember to save. Uh, see if we pass it. Should come up with something. Save all, save all, save all, save all. Saved. There we go. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pass. Yep, so I've got this here, so I'll just select the camera. The power, which is probably too much. Look speed is basically controls the how you look around. So let's just see what happens. I think I'm just gonna fall through the floor straight away, but oh yeah, I need to give it a collision. Yeah, so you need to also give uh, a collision and rigid body importing ammo. And that basically, what is that? So this is the player here, right? I'm gonna delete this box, that's six, we don't need it, or just move it somewhere else. I've got the player here. I've given a rigid body, which is like, uh, here, the character's bounding box, like a box of what you'll be colliding with, and then the collision type box, 
Well, that's the part of books, actually. Sorry, but no, it just basically makes it so you can see that. I should be able to move now, yeah. So I can move, but I fall through the floor because the floor at the minute is just purely. Ah, go away, everyone, and constantly on Facebook when you don't want them to. Uh, so I'll make this half extents less. Half extents is the um, so be four and four. So you can see here eight, just half that. Now I shouldn't fall through the floor. Now I think. Oh, I do. Where, where am I? Putting it to move a bit somewhere. Still falling through the floor. Wow. Still falling through the floor for some reason. Go away! Why is everyone con it's because Trump's just been elected. Um, Biden's just been elected and everyone's messaging everyone on Facebook. Not now, I'm busy. Anyway. So basically, I just want it so that uh, I shouldn't be falling through the oh, rigid body probably needs as well. Yep, <laughs> forgot rigid body. There we go. So now I can walk. I'm too powerful, so it just I just immediately go off the map. So I'll just create like a bigger floor now, basically. So we've created like something like 50 by, this is the, basically sizing it, it's 50 by um, respective axes, 50 by 50, and then I'll just change this to 25 by 25, it's basically half that, the half extents. Now I should be able to walk around. Yeah, so it's too way too fast and too powerful. So I've got to reduce this down to something like 20 or something. Power speed, which is the movement. So that's a bit more rational now. It's still too fast and too slidey, but uh, that's basically the maybe like it five or something. It's hard to tell, but I am moving there, so you can see I'm. So now I've got the basic. It's in place for a front first person control. So that's that. Then obviously I'll fall off the edge if I go there. But that's 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 that bit sort of done. Like for a keyboard, well, for certainly if you're making just a PC game uh, with WSAD for the controls. Uh, in terms of the actual movement itself, that's the first part basically done. It's pretty simple, really. Uh, obviously, you have to remember to add rigid body and collision so that you don't fall through the floor. But yeah. So let's just change the colour of this for a second and add some uh, material. And uh, also actually we're going to experiment with creating the, um, the material floor. And we want to add this into fuse, so go to ground. Sorry, I'm going a bit fast there. So, I'm basically, setting material and adding the diffuse there. So there we go. And next, we'll do the terrain generation, which will make should make us automatically have like a sort of dynamic landscape, sort of like this. Now, this is a hell of a lot of code, uh, but there's an example for it, so we might as well just use that basically, because uh, it'll do what. We need it to do, which is generate some environment. Uh, I, I don't even know exactly everything that's going on here. It looks like we've got a for loop, which loops through uh, some arrays and basically, based on a height map image, generates some terrain. But uh, might as well try this out. This will give us a nice, quick way of generating some quick uh, um, terrain, basically. So we'll call this script terrain I'll just have a look in here quickly just to see where I add it uh, so 
And this is often a, a good way of doing things in this, is like refer to documentation on play canvas and um, yeah, basically so it's just an entity in itself. Uh, height map, okay, 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 right, easy. Easy enough. So if I add a new entity, call it terrain. Like that, no, not terrain. Terrain. Ah, why can I never spell? Okay, add a script. Call it, uh, what is it? Caps, terrain. 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 Edit the, ter the um, script. Add this. Uh, copy everything, just copy and s make sure to save it. Always remember to save when you're in this code editor, otherwise, you're gonna forget. Pass it to get the new things in. Yep, yeah, nice. So it looks like it worked. So if we go to the height map I downloaded earlier, material, which is here, get rid of, turn this off for now. And hopefully, this will work. Fingers crossed. I think I'm not, I'm not 100 percent sure. Ah, oh, fall through the floor, but basically the terrain is generated, which is good. I probably need to move the camera a bit off or the player a bit further off, I think. So I'm gonna try this. But as you can see there, the terrain was actually generated. It's just I probably need to add some sort of oh wait again. Further up maybe. Oh there we go. Bit further off. I don't know why it's so high. <laughs> okay. Uh, don't know why that's so high up. Well, that basically that'll give us the basics of the terrain. And I'm falling a bit too high down, but you can see that we've got a sort of terrain generated now. Uh, so a bit further down, probably something like that, I guess. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now we've got some terrain we can walk on. It's a bit weird actually. We have to probably work on the some physics stuff because I'm like obviously falling over now. Uh, I think I have to adjust the angular factor because that can mean that you wobble and fall over. I don't want that. Okay, why? Slow, slowly, slowly. Very slow now. So. It's going to be faster, maybe something like 100. There we go, that's probably more like it. Now I can move around and we'll wander up the mountains. And we've sort of got, in a very, very, very uh, rough sense, the start of an environment where we can basically move around. Obviously, there's not really much here at the minute, but it's sort of generated, which is quite cool. And that's just using uh, tutorials from Play Canvas, so that's. That's quite good actually in some respects. Uh, we also want to. Next thing we'll probably want to do is. Uh, well, let's, have, let's have a look at the terrain script actually. We can probably edit this a bit more if we wanted as well. So if we go to terrain, we've got our terrain. Max height, you can, yeah, you can edit the, you can edit the height. So let's make this much bigger. So maybe 400 by. So 400 wide. And then I'll make it max height something like 20. So basically, that means that the generated uh, environment will be much higher in places and also it'll be much wider, generally speaking, as well. So, spawn that's a bit bad because I spawned into because I made it higher, I spawned in there somewhere, but 
I just probably have to move this up a bit. Yeah, I want it zero. Oh, yeah. Okay. Try and launch it again, see what happens. I think this will probably do for the first part. It sort of gives you a starting. Okay, there we go. So it's not really that pretty at the minute, and I probably need to make it a bit less high than. So we're getting back to terrain, max height 15. Generate it again. That should help. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a little bit of an environment. We probably would want to increase the speed again. Sorry, I know I'm repeating myself a bit, but it's just a lot of tweaking just to get this right. But uh, I should be able to run a bit faster than I. Yeah, there we go, that's a bit better. So we've got faster movement now. Okay, so. I guess we can explore um, doing a bit of level design, I suppose. I mean, all the, the textures look a bit stretched on this, but uh, I mean, it's good that the fact that you can climb these mountains, you don't go through them, that's quite good already. Um, yeah. So it's probably make it even wider, to be honest. We might as well just make it huge. Probably like 800 or something. Might as well just make it big. Uh, yeah, it looks a bit stretched, but so this, I guess, I'm sort of moving towards making a sort of almost procedurally subdivision. Let's try under 500 or something. Just mess around with some of these settings. It's a good thing that in this script you can basically just screw around with these settings and the attributes, which is quite useful just to play around and sort of see what works, I guess. Um, so if I preview at least like there we go, preview loads, bigger environment, textures are horribly stretched, I probably need to, what I need to do actually is on the material floor is uh, tile it somewhat, so you can also, because I made it much bigger, I want to make the tile I want to give it a tiling, so probably something like maybe even like just 50 by 50, just to see what that looks like. Yeah, see that looks better automatically because because I made it bigger. I'll uh, change the tiling of the textures, so it sort of looks a bit more like. Just less stretched because before it was just stretched over one one tile over the entire uh, thing. But anyway, okay, so we've got that. I will probably make the terrain a little higher, maybe even 25. I think. I'll have to relaunch it then. I know I'm just tinkering a lot, but. Yeah, no. Take it back to what it was before. And let's move on to something else because I'm just getting stuck on this now. I could play around a lot all day, but there's no point in anything. So we've got our environment, we've got a basic environment which is set up with some variation in the ground. No enemies, no gun, none of that. But so that's uh, sort of the beginnings of the. Uh, creating some sort of FPS type game in Play Canvas. Uh, we're going to cover more in the next episode, I think, uh, including projectile, creating a gun, which will shoot something, maybe to touch upon enemies as well. But yeah, tune in next time for that. I hope you found this useful. I've been Noir Nerd. Uh, watch out for the next episode for the next part of how to create a sort of prototype of PS and play games. Right.